and prank it. The last thing I talked to my husband about was the septic tank. It was a Saturday afternoon. My French husband, who had taken early retirement three months earlier, was alone at his family home in Brittany. I was in London, where I was due to do the Sunday shift at work. The distance was nothing unusual, as a driven, career woman. I'd insisted on keeping separate identities. Over our years together, we'd survived Moscow, Paris, New York, Strasbourg and Paris, Strasbourg, London, Paris was a dawdle by comparison. On that Saturday afternoon, I rang Sylvain, who was in the house for which he had big plans for when we would be retired. He told me that he was waiting for a man to empty the septic tank. Diana, our mother review, William and Harry. Remember the hugs? 20 years on read more the next morning, Sunday the 25th of January 2009, Sylvain got up, went into the bathroom and had a brain hemorrhage that killed him instantly. His mother called me when I was on my way to work, panicked that she couldn't get hold of him for their daily chat. I left a series of increasingly anxious voicemails. Within the hour, his body had been found and I left London to get to the village in Brittany. I can never forget that last phone call in which nothing personal was discussed, and I pretended to express an interest in the workings of a septic tank and Sylvain's DIY progress. When I look back on our conversation now with continuing regret, it was an important lesson for me.